Hey everybody, and today we will craft M4 in one of the most popular skins in CSGO, Cyrix, with you as always Craft Station. Let's go guys! I bring to your attention an excellent website for exchanging skins in CSGO, absolutely without any risk. CS money over you a huge number of skins, among which is a lot of rare. Here you can exchange your consumer goods for more expensive skins. Now I will show you how to do it. First of all, you have to log in CS money, then specify a link for offers. Refresh the inventory, after that you will see your, all your items on the site. Select the skins that you would like to change, choose a skin on the site for an equivalent price and press the exchange button. After that confirm exchange in Steam. Let's go! Well, before I start working as always, download the template, link on this template is in the description. It's possible to print the template with simple printer, a template made from pile of papers but every paper is signed. So understand will not be a problem guys, we strived about this. Cut everything extra on the papers of template to place it compactly on material. First three layers will be made from 10mm MD5 applying PVA glue on MD5 and glue template. You can also transfer template with copy paper. Details of decor and ending scales with disguises 3 and 5 mm I stuck on PVC plastic with corresponding thickness and after the glue dried, cut out them with a knife. Well, all layers are cut and ready to assembly. Let's start assembling the first three layers that we cut off from 10mm MDF. Also from this MDF I cut off the trigger and reduced it a little bit in thickness to make it not 10mm but 8. Due this it will be easier to move man. To glue up details from wood I used joiners PVA glue, applying glue at one of the side layers under the making L1 or L1 and glue up to it layer number 0. While our first details is drying up, we can glue a color. It have to be made from 3 layers with 10mm thickness, but side scales have been made from 2 other details with 5mm thickness. As you know, material is a PFC plastic. We can glue up our details from plastic to details from wood with glue number 88. To make for our details better gluing, we have to clamp it and let it dry for 5 to 7 hours. To spring our trigger we will use a simple small spring from old pen. And the trigger is prepared to drill up not a deep hole to make a spring staying in one position. Trigger is installed, now we can glue up 3D layer from 10mm MDF, the technology is the same, the only thing we have to be accurate and don't let the glue fall into the trigger mechanism. Let's continue with three overlays from PFC plastic that we cut off earlier. We have to glue up the main details with glue number 88 or simple glue moment. To make the details reliably glue up together we have to apply thin glue layer on every detail and let them dry for 10 minutes. After that apply one more thin layer and after two minutes glue up the details. Our glue details we must clamp or put onto something heavy. This is the main thing in gluing with this type of glue. Also we have one more way glue up PFC plastic or wood, it's a super glue, but it's working only when we are gluing a small detail. Before I glue up necessary details, it's preferred to impregnate the wood with super glue and when it will dry out make one more thin layer. After that accurate and taking well aim gluing up necessary for us details. Before installing shutter lid or housing in the box of our M4 we have to polish excess material. For this work we need plastic trumpet with the same diameter that we'll use in our box and sandpaper. Turn around our trumpet with sandpaper with 18 grain and sand of all excess. To remove more material for minimal time we can use oval chisels. To glue up trumpet to box we can use two component epoxy glue. It's drying very fast if you haven't epoxy glue so you can affix the trumpet on thin self tapping screws. But you have to take chamfer from the top side of trumpet to make a cap of screws invisible. 
We have to use epoxy glue because the top side of box can be glued up only with it. Super glue can't make something like this because it can't glue water PFC trumpet with wood. If it's not possible to buy epoxy glue you can use a cold welding, but this is not accurate. Next assembly will not going in series because we had to think which material we will use. For example, for Mafa bases, I took carton sleeve from foot film and drawn it out with two caps from PFC plastic. Gluing it up with super glue for reliability, you can glue in place where connecting carton and PFC details with a hot glue. The most faintest riffle butt part will make from 40mm water trumpet gluing to both templates and 3mm PFC plastic stubs. Connecting template of rivel butt and box can be made from 25mm water trumpet to make it tight and in the box from the suitable thin template you can make a stand. Diameter of each detail for rivel butt, pivot box and muffler will be in the template. In the template you can see the detail sham how and where it have to be installed. Front side of rivel butt can be made from 5mm PFC plastic glued up with super glue. To glue this up evenly is better to delineate circuit of the details. Applying the glue without going beyond the circuit and after the connect the glue details. Well, it's time to pack a pivot. And we will make it from carton sleeve from film like Oracle. To fit the sleeve into our diameter and from both sides different, we will cut off the stripe from excess carton with a knife. To make a diameter that we need when we will roll our sleeve without the strip. And don't forget to cut off two cycles from plastic and food, which we will glue up to both sides of our pivot. About how to glue this thing, everything is clear, glue up with a hot glue and after that pull together with clamps. Let's continue pulling together the river but one big minus of the water trumpet is that you can glue up something to it, only with epoxy glue or solder in it. I don't know the other ways but if you know then write it in the comments and if you don't put a like in until this moment so go fast, put it faster because when we will hit 10,000 likes I will craft something interesting from CSGO and what should I craft write it in the comments. So by the order glue all necessary details that we cut off earlier. You can combine the glues where we need, we use the super glue, for example gluing PFC plastic with PFC plastic. With edge raver with special nozzle or nozzle with sandpaper, rub all sharp corners on the box, making from it interesting look. If you have an edge raver, you can use a knife, sandpaper or rasp. Furious on the color we can make with oval chisel, I think we will not have problems with it. General is to observe safety rules and cut only from your side, be careful with your hands. That's how must look our rifle butt. Now we have to install it in our weapon. I think you can understand how to install it. The only thing before installing we have to put our trumpet. A special overlay to trumpet can be glued up with a hot glue. From 3mm PFC plastic with circular knife you have to cut off circles, there will be our spaces between a box and pivot. 25mm PFC plastic trumpet will be our axle of the pivot. Trumpet have to be glued off through the spacer in a box with a hot glue. After that install rings and pivot.
Barrel of our weapon will be made from 20mm PFC trumpet and easily enter into 25mm trumpet. With this our construction will be stronger. And think when we will buy PFC trumpets for this project you have to buy only wall trumpets. Then everything will be perfect. Aim for our weapon will be made from 4 details. We will take 5mm plastic and cut off 2. Of the details and 2 more from 3mm plastic cut off and glue up as in the video. The end will be glued up on a 225mm PSC trumpet siegement. Pull the two to the barrel and gluing them with epoxy glue. To make them more stronger you can drill a hole in a barrel and pull in the epoxy glue. Glue the aim with epoxy glue and let him dry. Glue them aim with epoxy glue and let him dry. Well, that's how our M4 looks right now. Let's continue before installing muffler. We are installing cutted ring from 25mm PFC trumpet and after that a muffler. The last step is to give this model more details. Cut off two straps with 8mm wide and 162mm high from PFC plastic or cotton and glue this up to every side of pivot. After that from this plastic carton cut off stripes with 4mm wide making a marking on the pivot after every 12mm and gluing up for 4mm stripes in a joint with main longitudinal overlay. On the other side we are doing the same scheme. Other steps will be easier to understand. Glue up the trumpet on the right side of the box and don't forget about the small but every important details like rivets, imitation of the access mechanism and other stuff. Well, our M4 is ready for painting. Before we painting, we have to prime our model with a universal or car clear coal. We have to make two layers and when the clear coal will dry out, sand it with 320 sandpaper to remove him from PFC plastic and MDF. Well, the most interesting part is the painting. Cyrix skin is kind easy in painting. We can use the painting tape to make our painting much easier. Don't overstep the strict lines of Cyrix. To make a painting much easier we put a special mask in sets of templates, you can print them out on self paper and after that glue this up on the model after that paint with necessary colors. Logo and large text is easy to cut off from paper and glue up. Small text can be written by hand. Well guys, I worked a lot to make a new video for you, in a new format, nice template, the full tutorial how to make a M4 in Cyrix skin, and I think this deserves a like and subscribe to my channel, with you is always Crust Station, goodbye.